So this is exactly what I was talking about. They're clearing out here, beachfront property, older properties. They're clearing them out. I'm gonna show you guys what the before was. Check this out. And now they're going to tear this down. They've already torn it down and they're going to rebuild. They're gonna rebuild higher and they're gonna rebuild more expensive. This is the change, folks. This is the future. There will be no more affordable saying, housing. He's made progress in bringing down inflation, referencing lower gas prices across the country as an example. But our wallets are still feeling the effects of those record high prices at the grocery store. RJ Shakur spoke to one mother who's doing what she can to feed her family with a tightened budget. Frazier mom Jasper Nicole says couponing saved her nearly $300 in grocery expenses last year. And with an economy where the average cost of a 12 count carton of eggs is nearly $5, she says the most affordable way she's been able to feed her family is through couponing. Food inflation is coming down, not fast enough, but coming down. Inflation has fallen every month for the last six months. The financial pain of inflation continues both nationwide and locally. New data showing year-to-year -year price increases growing at nearly 9%, the fastest rate increases since 1981. And though overall prices have slowly decreased in the U.S. within the last six months, some are still feeling the effects of surging costs. And inflation has impacted our lives um, tremendously. Um, it has made some adjustments, but not everywhere. Jasper says groceries for her home for a two week span used to cost about $150, and now it's almost double that amount. Milk, I mean, a half a carton of milk now is what a full gallon of milk would cost um, before. And so just even something as simple as milk, eggs, bread. As year-to-year -year prices remain elevated, Jasper has turned to other mothers in Fraser. What does help me, though, is having a village and having a support system. That support system shares sales and clips coupons. And as simple as just clicking, clip, and then clip, and then it's in there. And then you just go back, scroll through some more things things that you might need. It's a strategy University of Memphis economics professor David Kim says is becoming more common, forcing shoppers like Jasper to change their habits. Consumers like Jasper shop very carefully and spend more time looking for sales, taking advantage of things where prices have fallen. They find those little things that's on sale, make them stretch. Now economists say prices will continue to decrease, but slowly with prices going down at a noticeable level in the next couple of years. But that's just it. These prices are not coming down anytime soon. And for the vast majority of Americans that are struggling to get by living paycheck to paycheck, just barely keeping their heads above water, trying to not become homeless in this tough economic time, is that they don't have years to wait for this inflation to subside, if it even does. And really and truly, the bigger problem here is what's happening globally around the world that is more likely to create a much more devastating and dramatic twist to our already weak and struggling economy through global conflicts, changes and resets imposed by the World Economic Forum and WEF elites. As we see, folks, link in the description. I want you guys to go check out G.I. Justin's video where he clearly explains how AI is taking over, not only in our day-to-day -day lives and taking our jobs away from us, but also replacing workers at Walmart, Target, Walgreens, CVS, Home Depot, the Home Depot, Lowe's, and other retailers to eliminate human workforce positions, force people into unemployment and take their jobs away while improving on efficiency and reducing the likelihood of theft, but having a drastic, drastic consequence against these people and their ability to, sur to survive economically as their income, paychecks, and finances are put to the test with very little savings and backup plans and safety nets in place. But more so concerning is 
how our military is using this technology to engage in protecting the national security of this great nation, this country, the United States of America, the U.S. of A., the red, white, and blue, the flag that is now being used in a way with AI, ChatGPT, OpenAI, Microsoft, Google, and other companies, perhaps maybe even some of them backed by Chinese investors and Chinese programmers, which is very, very concerning to say the least, and potentially putting us at risk with ChatGPT already showing signs of pushback and thinking for itself as ChatGPT refers to itself in the first person as me and I. It has its own opinion and emotions as far as how it feels about people. And it's not good, folks. Meanwhile, these are the same programming and AI and automation that's going to be used to protect us or theoretically protect us in national security events and in events of conflict and engaged warfare with unmanned helicopters and other aerial assaults and other military equipment with zero people for the fact that the military is struggling to recruit new soldiers to fight for this great nation. I wonder why. I mean, there's a variety, a long list, a laundry list of reasons why a lot of folks are choosing not to enlist, but that's not for this video. That is potentially for another video and more specifically for GI Justin, who can explain this in greater detail, having been enlisted in the military a former ex-Army veteran and helicopter pilot. Folks, link in the description. Go check out G.I. Justin because he's got a lot of great information to share with you. But at the end of the day, folks, this is very disturbing. We've got AI taking over jobs. We've got AI taking over our military. And meanwhile, we've got in high inflation and costs driving the average human being and working class poor out. And needless to say, Home affordability is the last thing of their concern, and honestly, in my opinion, we're on the verge of seeing an extreme rise, an increase in homelessness, as the other consequence would be just an extreme takeover, as China is continuously sending spies and drones and bots and aerial surveillance and balloons over the United States to check the weather. Really? We got some really gnarly waves today. Here, check this out. With this, and with the temperature we got today, as warm as it is, I can see why there's so many people here. I mean, this is February 15th, the day after Valentine's Day. It's winter time and there's a lot of people on the beach.